Hello Viking Nation and welcome to Carpool. As we welcome many returning and new families back to the campus, we wanted to provide you with a few reminders that will help Carpool run smoothly and most importantly, be safe for our students. We thank you for your continued support and patience as we work to expedite Carpool as quickly as possible while still ensuring the safety of our students. We are optimistic that after several weeks, carpool will begin to flow much more efficiently as the community becomes more familiar with these procedures. We encourage all families to refer to the detailed carpool map to familiarize yourself with all carpool flow protocols and procedures. In addition, at the start of the year, all FINA through middle school students should have received a carpool tag. Upon entering the carpool line for pickup, please display your hang tag on your rear view mirror. In addition, please be sure to continue to review your child's carpool number with them as they are all learning new carpool numbers to start the school year. We also ask that all parents place a carpool decal on your back window of your vehicle which helps us know which vehicles belong on campus and in the carpool line. If you ever require any additional carpool tags or decals, please contact your division's administrative receptionist. In order for carpool to run as safely and smoothly as possible, we need everyone to follow several rules. First, do not cut in any carpool line. When joining a carpool line, make certain it is the end of the line. Breaking into line will only cause tempers to flare. While driving on campus and in the school zone, please ensure that you are driving at a reasonable speed and obeying all school speed limit signs. When driving in parking lots, please be aware of your surroundings and drive no faster than 5 miles per hour. And being thoughtful of our neighbors, please do not block any driveways while waiting in carpool line. In addition, refrain from blocking city bus drop-off and pick-up locations. Please look for signs that indicate what areas you should leave open for the city bus. It is also extremely important that all vehicles obey the directions from all HPD police and security officers. They are set in place to keep the flow of traffic moving in the safest way possible. Never walk across the street unless an HPD officer has stopped traffic and given you the right of way and please only cross dedicated crosswalks. And please parents, do not make U-turns in the middle of the street, especially near campus. And parents, don't forget to stay off those cell phones and focus on safe driving. As you will see in this map, there are four designated drop-off and pick-up locations. Students must only be dropped off and picked up at these areas. Please do not drop off or pick up your student in any other areas on campus, especially out on the street. This is for their safety. At FINA, carpool drop-off begins at 8 a.m. and pick-up is at 3.15, except on Wednesdays when the entire campus is dismissed at 2.30. For our youngest students, the FINA carpool entrance is located on Winnington at gate number 8. Upon entry, make your way around until you reach the front of FINA where a staff member will greet you and unload your child. Once unloaded, please continue around the building and make your exit at the gates at the front of the middle school. As a reminder parents, please do not exit your vehicle at carpool and it is your responsibility to buckle your child into their car seat but please be sure to pull around to the side or into a parking spot to complete this as to not disrupt the flow of carpool. The entry for elementary carpool is located on Westella Drive. However, vehicles will enter the carpool line driving westbound on Whittington. For the mornings, carpool will begin at 7.30. In the afternoons, pickup will start at 3.30 unless on Wednesdays it will begin at 2.30. School staff will assist students out of the vehicle, but please ensure that the vehicle is at a complete stop before unloading children. Also, please ensure that you're following the instruction of all the teachers supervising carpool as well as the officers directing traffic. And in the mornings, please help your child be prepared to exit the vehicle along with their backpack and lunch bag with the assistance of the teachers. Upon exiting carpool, an officer will direct you to turn right only onto Westella from the circular drive. This is to keep traffic flow moving. 
and parents, two reminders of things you should not do over at the elementary carpool. First, do not make that U-turn. And second, never ever drop your child off on the side of the street. Over at the middle school, morning carpool will begin at 7.15 in the morning and pick up in the afternoon will start at 3.30. Drivers should enter gate number 11 located on Gentryside Drive. Please make sure to obey the security officer at their crosswalk and drive slowly. After you drop off your child or pick up your child, when you exit carpool, you must turn right only onto Gentryside Drive. In the afternoons, please make sure to hang your carpool tag on your rearview mirror so that we can clearly read the number. As a reminder, students in 7th and 8th grade can be picked up over at the high school and all middle school students with younger siblings at the elementary can walk across the bridge to meet their brother or sister for one convenient pickup for parents. But please, remind them to hustle so you aren't stuck over at the elementary school waiting for them. The middle school campus is very busy during carpool hours and has been notorious for naughty carpool behavior. So please, help us keep carpool chaos to a minimum. Parents, please do not make a U-turn near the school. Please find an alternate way further down the road to safely join carpool lines. Do not pick up or drop off your child on the street. This is not a safe area to have your child enter or exit your vehicle. The entrance to FINA carpool, gate number eight, is an entrance only during carpool hours. Please do not exit out this gate during carpool. Also, do not drop off or pick up your child in the parking lot. Please only use dedicated carpool loading and unloading areas only. This is for the safety of your child and staff. High School Carpool Drop-Off and Pickup is located on Whittington Drive and the entrance gate is labeled Gate Number 1. Vehicles entering for carpool should proceed through the parking lot and wrap around to the front of the high school building for drop-off and pickup. Carpool will begin at 7.30 in the mornings and 3.30 in the afternoons. An officer will also direct you as you exit the carpool at gate number 2 whether you're turning left or right, so please obey all signals and directions that they may give. As carpool tags are not provided or used for high school students, we do ask that parents communicate with their child to inform them of their arrival. This is to expedite pickup in the afternoons. And a few reminders to keep this carpool as safe as possible. While driving through the parking lot, do not speed. You should not be going more than 5 miles per hour and please make sure to obey all traffic signs. And parents, please do not pick up your child out on the street. And don't forget to put down the cell phones during carpool and focus on driving safely. Thank you for keeping our little Espina Viking safe in carpool. Thanks for keeping our elementary Viking safe. What you do matters. Thanks for keeping carpool safe. Thank you for making the high school car park the best of them all. You've set a great example.